Hello everyone, so today we're gonna talk about how I created these 3D lights out of 2D images. This is an incredible effect I recently learned and I wanna show you how it's done. So let me first show you uh, how it looks uh, without it. And I'm gonna show you the original crow, which looks like that. And after one layer of lights, it looks like that. And after the last one, it looks like that. Okay, and some people I know that are using bevel and ambos, and so am I, in some example, but the thing about this one is it actually creates light not only around the edges, but also inside the image, which makes it much more realistic, and I really like how it turns out. And let's move over to this image. And let me remove the lights, for example. Okay, so now we have this image of, uh, you know, this kitten. Let me remove uh, some of the exposure, just so you can see the lights effect. And let me turn on the light effect. And look at this one, how cool it is. And now you're going to see something that is crazy inside of Photoshop. And if I'm moving the use saturation layer, so it actually moves the light direction which is insane now one more thing i can do in this use saturation layer is actually change the color of um of the lights and i can do a bunch of other things okay so in order to create this sort of lighting effects we need to and make something that is called a normal map. What is a normal map? Basically, it's a map that contains an X, Y, and Z axis information. Uh, this information is used by lights to create like uh, lights coming from different direction. It's normally used for games and stuff like that. Okay, now, uh, how do I create this normal map? It's actually really easy. I'm using a tool called Lighter. It's gonna be in the description. This is not my normal tool for creating uh, normal maps. It creates normal maps out of 2D images in a way that is better than other software that I tried. Uh, I use it only for this technique of creating uh, lights out of 2D images. So let's see how it works. So after I downloaded the software, I'm gonna run it. And now there's uh, basically a a default image but I can load an image here let me load like the cat image okay and I'll put it right over here okay now how do I make a normal map out of it it's really easy I'm just creating the normal map button and it already tries to analyze how the light comes from this image and it does a pretty decent job and this is why I use this tool now I can also play around with different parameters around the object such as height and smoothness and distance and stuff like that. This map is really big so it actually slows down the computer but uh, basically this is the process of how to work with it. Now one thing that I do uh, want you to consider when using this technique is how is the object built? Is the object round? Is the object flat? Because right now you see the edges here are, they are not really sharp. And this is what I was looking for. I don't want really sharp edges because this statue is not uh, sharp, it's round. So first of all, I'm gonna take the normal map that I just created and I'm gonna drop it right over here in the middle. Let me put it up and I'm gonna make a mask out of it by pressing the mask and now it's masked exactly to where the cat is now what i want to do next is to create a use saturation layer and to create something that is called channel mixer that i don't use a lot i only use it for this effect okay and i'm gonna clip both of them to the normal map how did i clip that you can press this button after you press the layer but i'm using Control alt and g in order to create the masking and uh, like the clipping mask effect the next thing that we want to do is use monochrome on our channel mixer so i'm pressing monochrome and now look at that now i'm gonna drop the red uh, channel quite a bit until i see just a little bit of light and now i can ramp up the green one and play a little bit with the blue one until I have something that resembles like a strong 
light that actually looks a little bit realistic. I don't want to create something like that because I want it to come from this side and not from the center. Okay, so this is something that I'm quite happy with actually. Let me remove a little bit of the red. I think this one is, yeah, I think this one is pretty good. And the next thing that I want to do is make this one screen. Now, we don't see it uh, pretty clearly, but it's already here, you see, like the lights around the ear. But now let me show you what happens when I'm uh, making uh, an exposure layer. And I'm just removing a bit of the exposure of the cat. Let me clip that to the cat. And now you see it much more clearly. How cool is that? Now, one more thing we can do is by pressing the use saturation, we can actually rotate the light and make it come from different directions okay which is great and one more thing that we can do is to create another use saturation layer also clip it and colorize it and now we can actually color the light in whichever color we want oh sorry so this is it for that I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something and uh, please leave a comment or press the like button. I would really, really appreciate that if it helped you. All right, guys, over and out.